بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم آئی ہوپ یو آر ان گڈ ہیلتھ اینڈ ڈوئنگ ویل ان ٹوڈیز لیکچر وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈسکس ویری امپورٹنٹ ڈیزیز آف لائف اسٹاک نان ایز ہیمریجک سیپٹیسیمیا ہیمریجک سیپٹیسیمیا از ون آف دی موسٹ امپورٹنٹ ڈیزیزز آف دی لائف اسٹاک آف اور کنٹری اٹ از امپورٹنٹ from economical point of view because this disease results in the high morbidity and mortality rate and the epidemics of this disease occurs every year so this will be the outline of our today's presentation So starting with the introduction, hemorrhagic septicemia, which is also known as HS or Gal Ghoto in Urdu, in local language. So it is an acute bacterial disease of ruminants, clinically characterized by high fever, swelling of throat and neck region, resulting in severe dyspnea, depression and high mortality. So from this definition, you have to remember two very important points. The first one is the, it is a bacterial disease. And the second is the clinical signs that are specific to this disease. That is the swelling at throat and neck region. And because of this swelling, the animal is unable to respire properly that results in dyspnea. Dyspnea means difficult respiration. And if the animal is not treated in time, so the animal can die. And a higher mortality rate is specific to this disease. So this, the name Galghoto, which is given to this disease in local language is because of this clinical sign that animal is unable to respire properly. And you have to remember that it is one of the major disease of cattle and buffaloes in Pakistan. Although the disease can also affect small ruminants like sheep and goat, but most of the cases are seen in cattle and buffaloes, which are also known as large ruminants. Now we come to the etiology of this disease. So it is caused by a gram-negative bacteria known as Pasturella multocida. And what are the important characteristics of this bacteria? It is gram-negative, non-spore forming and capsulated. And the presence of capsule is an important virulence factor in this disease because the higher temperature in this disease is also regarded with this capsule. So you have to remember this very important point that it is a capsulated bacteria and which bacteria? Pasturella multocida. Hemorrhagic septicemia has many serotypes found in different parts of the world. And among those serotypes, two are important, Asian B2 and African E2. And if you want to remember the serotype with reference to Pakistan, so you have to remember that serotype B2 is the most common serotype found in Pakistan or in other words hemorrhagic septicemia in Pakistan is due to serotype B2. Another very important feature of this disease is that the outbreaks or epidemics of this disease occur during the monsoon season. Why monsoon season? It is because 
during monsoon season there is high environmental temperature and humidity which puts the animal under stress and due to this stressful condition the pasture animal to cedar invades and causes disease now we come to the transmission this bacteria inhibits in nasopharyngeal region of buffaloes and cattle making them carriers of disease organism or in other words pasturella multicida so you have to remember this nasopharyngeal region and the main route of transmission of this disease is the respiratory route or by direct or indirect contact with the sick or carrier animals but this disease can also be spread through ingestion or through oral route by ingestion of the contaminated feed and material so for you this route is the most important route respiratory route or through inhalation the bacteria enters the body mainly through inhalation now we come to the risk factors as i said earlier the stressful conditions are the main predisposing factor for this disease so stressful conditions can be any one among these like poor nutrition if the animal is not fed properly if the animal is not getting proper nutrition so of course the animal will be in stress the immune system will not work properly so if the animal is exposed to another infected animal who is suffering from hs or hemorrhagic septicemia so the disease can occur similarly if the animal is used for transportation or for heavy work load etc so it will also put the animal under stress similarly the hot and humid season as i discussed earlier about the monsoon season last but not the least the presence of carrier and unvaccinated animals in herd also predisposes other animals for occurrence of hemorrhagic septicemia clinical findings or clinical signs and symptoms in the beginning of this presentation i said that the swelling of throat and neck region is a very important sign in this disease so the main sign of hs is inflammation of throat and upper respiratory tract and septicemia septicemia means when the animal when this animal is invaded by bacteria the bacteria enters the blood and it is producing toxins so the presence of bacteria plus the production of toxins results in septicemia which is very dangerous and most of the time it results in death of the animal so other signs are high fever in per acute cases the animal may be found dead at the spot without showing any specific clinical sign or symptom swelling of the throat and neck so you have to remember this sign this is very important excessive salivation and serous nasal discharge can also be seen now we come to the lab diagnosis which is very important to understand on the part of mycologist so as it is a bacterial disease so, so the gold standard method of this disease is the isolation and identification of this bacteria by culture as a students of microbiology you know very well how to culture bacteria so this bacteria can be grown on different types of media like blood agar and csy agar so csy agar or in other words is a casein sacrosis extract agar or broth this is one of the selective media this is one of the selective media which is used for the culture of this bacteria 
So CSY agar also promotes the growth of capsule, and this and this capsule is required when you are preparing vaccine of this bacteria. So CSY agar is mostly used when you are using vaccine or you are preparing vaccine from culture of this bacteria. Similarly, animal inoculation rabbits can also be done if you inoculate the sample from suspected animal in rabbits. So that will result in death of the rabbit after some time and the bacteria can be easily isolated from the dead rabbits. Similarly, serological tests like ELISA can also be used and for ELISA you need to have ELISA kit, ELISA plate and reader and ELISA setup. Last but not the least, PCR is one of the most sensitive and specific tests that can also be used for the confirmed identification of this bacteria. Treatment. The treatment is done using broad spectrum antibiotics. If the treatment is initiated well in time, so it responds, the animal responds to the treatment very well and recovers. Similarly, other supported treatment includes anti-inflammatory drugs and antipyretic drugs. Control and prevention. The main way to control this disease is by vaccinating the animals that should be done one month before the onset of moon season, monsoon season. So there are three types of HS vaccines available in the market. Plain bacteries, alum precipitated bacteries, oil adjuvant bacteries. The alum precipitated bacteries are given at the interval of four months or six months, while the oil adjuvant bacteries are given once every year. The other way, ways to control and prevent disease, this disease is by using different measures like the reporting of this disease to the livestock authorities, by observing the quarantine measures, tracing carriers and culling those infected animals, and improvement of farm management to avoid stressful conditions. So this is all about this disease. So you have to again remember that this is one of the important disease and we need to study and understand its pathogenesis, its control and prevention. So for any further understanding, you may consult OIE manual if you want to know about the details of vaccines, how they are prepared and how this bacteria is cultured and diagnosed. Thank you very much.